go. Good morning, good morning, good morning, lovely people, and welcome to Be Inspired. Today we are going to talk about reactions and responses and how we respond to people. So, good morning. Again, happy Friday. And welcome to Be Inspired. Y'all know I'm going to jump right up on into this. Good morning to my lovely people. For those of you who I see come on, I'll say good morning. And then we'll keep it moving because I don't want to take too much of your time. Again, we're talking about reactions and responses and how important it is for us not to always react or react so fast. Because we know the reaction comes from a low frequency. And what I mean by that is, it's usually from pain. Hey, Annette, good morning, lovely lady. It usually comes from a low frequency. And when I say reaction, I'm saying reacting and responding to negative things. Some could be, um, you know, your fight or flight. But today we're going to talk about reacting and responding to things that we shouldn't even respond to, react to. We should just let it go. Some things you have, what is that uh, old saying? No one to hold them, no one to fold them. That's, that's where we are, especially now during this time, okay? Because usually when we react to something or if something, somebody says something, you're already on edge and it has nothing to do with that person, you just automatically just react. We need to stop and we know that time and space neutralizes things, okay? So even if it is like um, a hostile environment, um, some tension is in the air, a little bit of time and space, then respond. And when you wait, like I'm saying, when you wait a little bit, that's when the physical and the spiritual come together. And you're like, okay, let me think. Because here's the deal. When we breathe, breathe. Um, when we breathe, the mind follows a breath. Breathe. Think about it. And then after the mind comes the reality. So just remember that sequence. Take a breath. Once you take the breath, the mind will follow the breath. And reality follows the mind. Good morning, Lynette. How you doing? Yeah, I'm jumping right in. I will not take too much of your time today. Lynette will be like, come on, let's get it going. So one more time. When you breathe, the mind follows the breath. So the mind follows the breath. Reality follows the mind of what's actually going on. I wanted to talk about this because somebody asked me, and y'all know how I do. I respond. You know, look, I respond to your request. And the request was, I'm on edge, you know, so much going on, and I don't want to be snapping at everybody, and I didn't mean what I said. So this is what I'm telling you as far as, like, reacting. All right, um, divine, um, divine intelligence is what happens when you take the time to see the broader perspective. So what you want to do is just kind of, like, step back a little bit. Hey, Mike, hey, Sonia, step back again, like I was saying, and just think about things. Let the, the body, the physical, and the spiritual connect so you can say, okay, what's getting ready to happen here? Um, when you don't immediately react, it gives you time to enter that neutral space. Like I was saying before, time and space. Because you don't want to respond from a low frequency. And that's usually when you respond out of pain. It's a low frequency. Go on up. What Michelle Obama say? When they go low, we go high. Same scenario. Low frequency. You want to go... Um, you don't want to respond at a low um, frequency. And also, you want to be cautious of the things that you do and what you say. And that operates from a high frequency, high, a high vibration. You know what I mean? So you want to neutralize things again, 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 again. People, 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 especially during now, during this time right now. We got a lot of suicides going on. I mean, it's, it's just a lot. So instead of just reacting just take a little bit of time, okay? Um, if you have issues, if you have issues with anybody or just issues with the day, somebody else, and you're just like, okay, I got to go to work, but I'm dealing with this right here. You want to just recall what the issue is and then realize that that person didn't cause that issue, okay? And don't react and don't respond. If somebody talking sideways, we have the right and we are in control of our own positive energy. We can ignore them. Just keep walking, okay? Hey, good morning, Chrissy. Hey, Kev. 
Keep walking. Let it go. You have to choose your battles. I'm telling you, sometimes, I told you before, you can't argue with what one person can't argue by themselves. It takes two. And guess what? I will not be participating. And that's when you have to take control, okay? Keep your power. Don't allow somebody else's negativity become yours. You'll hear me say that over and over again. And I can't help it. That's what I do. <laughs> and karma. You know, when they say, oh, yeah, karma, you can walk away. You can be like, yeah, karma. We already know that's the action and the reaction. We know that. The action and the reaction. Run that back if you don't understand what I'm saying and it'll break it on down, okay? Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys, and this is a little a short one, okay? But use your breath. Take those stuff, take that time out when they say count to ten. And I remember back in the day when they were saying count to ten, you feel like, what? You gotta count to ten. I'm telling you, count to ten. Breathe, your mind will follow, then the reality is set in. Because, hey, that, that, that's when you be sitting there and you have delayed reaction. That's what's happening. You breathe and you're just like normally just going through the motions, God's gift, and they paying no attention. You take a breath and then you take about four steps or maybe three and be like, what you say? So, remember, breathe, the mind will follow the breath, and then reality is set in. And in a nutshell, don't be the victim of circumstances. And that's what happens when we react. Don't be the victim of circumstance. Create your circumstance. All right? That's all I got for you lovely people today. And it's about not reacting. Think about it first. Think about it first. And take control. Yes, Lynette, keep it moving by. That's that's them and their stuff. And most of the time, especially now, I'm sorry, I keep saying it. Most of the time, the issue is not you. It's whatever they're dealing with. And you'll hear over and over, leave your problems at the door, you know, at the workplace. Leave your problems at the door. Leave your problems at the door. Sometimes they carry on. They do. Your intention is to leave them at the door. You might be in the break room. Somebody might say something nutty or Whatever, or they might pop their lips because they got lemon in their tea like me. And you be like, I can't stand that. Get up. Remove yourself from the environment. Remember, you are in control of your own destiny and happiness is your role. You choose which way you are going to go. Ah, here we go. Listen, I don't know who needs to hear this, but I need to say this. Impact over money. I don't know if you are looking to change things, find another job. Whatever it is, what great decision that you may have, I want you to know this, that if you are having trouble deciding and you're like, okay, well, they make more money, always ask yourself this, how, how will I positively impact them? Will I, or will I impact them? Or am I not going to? Am I here for the money? So those are the things that you have to actually decide. That's the decision that you have to make. Am I, am I here going to make money and impact the person or am I just here for the money because it's more money? So, like I said, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but it just was there and I had to sprue it out. All right. I just had to sprue it out. And also I wanted to tell you that, um, a lot of people, you know, they like, oh, they're always happy. Bah, 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 bah. Let me say this to be happy is not just, it takes discipline. And decisions. <laughs> All right, lovely people. That is my time. Actually, I'm leave, let me see. What time is it here? I got a little bit of time. Oh, look at there. See, y'all got some time to go ahead and get y'all a little tea, y'all coffee, whatever you have. And do what you do and have a marvelous day on purpose. Okay? Um, like I said, I love you for listening. That's my time. Find you. Embrace you. Most importantly, always, always love you. Happy Friday for those who just joined in. Make it a great one. Don't allow people to steal your joy. If you don't have joy, I'm going to need you to go find it. Because remember, misery loves company. Go visit joy instead. Okay? All right, lovely people. Find you again. Find you. Embrace you. Most importantly, always, always love you. Until next week, people, be inspired right here. 7 a.m. How you like that, Lynette? 7 a.m. Hey, Artie. Right here, every Friday. Share this video if you think it will be helpful for somebody. 
Please don't react. Remember, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe. Think about it. And your reality. Then there's your reality. All right? Is it worth it? Again, and I'm leaving. I promise you this. Don't be the victim of circumstances. Create your circumstances. All right? Deuces. Hey, every Saturday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon, we doing it. Wednesdays. Hip hop. The reset with rain and remix. All right? All hip hop on Wednesday, one hour. We don't talk about it. We know the history. We doing it up. All right? Peace. Can I get this to stop?